And the first day of 2022 is also a game day for the Nittany Lions. The Penn State faced off against the University of Arkansas Razorbacks today. And our sports director, Tom Sadowski, took a trip to Tampa, Florida to give us the latest coverage on the Outback Bowl game. Five weeks ago, Penn State was in East Lansing, Michigan, playing in a snowstorm. Significantly different conditions here today with the sun shining and in the low 80s. The Nittany Lions wilt in the heat after halftime, though, and they begin the new year with a double-digit setback to Arkansas. The defense puts the hard hats on despite missing six starters. Safety Jair Brown coming back next year thwarts an early Razorbacks drive with an end zone interception. It's scoreless, and everyone's having a good time. There's wide open, and then there's Keandre Lambert-Smith wide open. Sean Clifford on target for an easy 42-yard score. Nittany Lions with some bounce as they head into the break up 10-7. Third quarter, a complete disaster. Hogs figure out they can just run over and around the Lions' depleted defense. An outback record 361 yards on the ground and 17 unanswered points. Clifford tries to ignite the rally. Another poor decision in the clutch for the fifth-year senior. Razorbacks turn him over and finish him off. The final is 24-10. Andrew Callista was at field level for Penn State's sixth loss of the season. He tells us how the Lions explained their subpar performance to start off 2022. The lights go out on the Nittany Lions 2021 campaign and whether you were on the grass or in the stands today, the view was not good. Penn State worn down and outplayed in the second half by Arkansas in a loss to cap off a disappointing season. Again, it's opportunities missed. Three points left on the field to start the game and giveaways which we have seen before with a red zone turnover to seal the deal. We got plenty of guys who can make plays, and I mean, I just told the guys in the locker room, I'm going to miss the seniors, but I mean, next year and this offseason, we're going to hit it hard, and everybody's going to be ready to go, and we got, we got work to do. After key players opt out, the only gem to be seen is Blue Sapphire. Are you looking for hope? Well, some fresh faces with quality playing time for the future. Is it Charlie, Tyler, they played a, a great game. Tyler, you know, he was making some good tackles in the alley, in the box as well. You know, he, he ran the show as the mic, so I was extremely content with that. Guys like Smith, I already touched base on that. You know, he had a great game. I'm extremely proud of him. Stretching for positives, maybe, but your record is who you are. And now Penn State's is subpar in back-to-back -back years. Where do the Lions go from here? The players will tell us later in sports. Todd, back to you. Four and five in 2020, seven and five in 2021, and a loss to start off the new year. James Franklin signed a brand new 10 year contract, and yet this team is just 11 and 11 in the last 22 games. The spotlight in the offseason will be just as hot on Franklin as it is here in Florida. With the Nittany Lions, Todd Sadowski, Fox 43.